Ever stood on the sidelines watching, waiting, wondering how to dive into the conversation? If you think the world's most confident people are always the loudest, think again. Today, we're showing you how to become a confident introvert. Let's dive in. Number one, avoid comparison. Imagine everyone running their own race, but you're busy watching someone else's lane. That's what most people do wrong. They spend so much time comparing their journey to others that they lose focus on their own path. And the result is a crippling belief that they're not good enough, leading to a drop in self-confidence. This comparison game is a lose-lose situation. It drains your energy and keeps you from recognizing your progress. Instead, focus on your own growth and achievements. Recognizing your unique journey and celebrating small wins builds confidence. This shifts your mindset from what you lack to what you can achieve. Start by keeping a win journal. Every day, write down something you did that felt brave, no matter how small. Over time, this simple act will transform yourself you from someone who couldn't speak up to someone who actively contributed ideas in meetings. Start by setting personal goals unrelated to others. For example, instead of aiming to be the most talkative person in the room, aim to contribute at least one idea in every meeting. This shift in focus helps you concentrate on achievable personal growth steps. Number two, make alone time count. Being alone doesn't mean being on a deserted island with your thoughts running wild. Many introverts spend their alone time overthinking interactions or missed opportunities. This leads to a cycle of self-doubt and criticism that chips away at their confidence. This inward focus magnifies flaws and mistakes, making it harder to see one's strengths. Instead, use alone time as a power-up session. Engage in activities that bolster your skills and passions. This will turn your focus outward, towards growth and learning, rather than inward on self-criticism. Set aside time for reading. Whether it's a book on communication skills or a novel, reading expands your perspective and provides topics for conversation, making social interactions less daunting. Transforming alone time into a productive and enriching period empowers you to return to social settings with new insights and confidence, proving that solitude can indeed be a superpower for introverts. Number three, remember, it's never as big a deal as we make it in our minds. Did you ever make a mountain out of a molehill? That's what many introverts do when anticipating or reflecting on social interactions. They replay conversations or events in their heads, magnifying every minor slip up into a catastrophic failure. This habit of overanalyzing leads to anxiety and dread over future interactions, trapping them in a cycle of avoidance and low confidence. Instead, adopt a perspective of realism and forgiveness. Recognize that everyone makes mistakes and that most people are too caught up in their own lives to dwell on yours. Reduce the pressure to perform flawlessly and acknowledge human imperfection. Try the 48-hour rule exercise. Ask yourself, will this matter in 48 hours? More often than not, the answer is no. This helps you not to sweat the small stuff and focus on what truly matters. Remember that our worries are often much smaller than they seem in the grand scheme of things. Number four, learn from extroverts. Many introverts see extroverts as a different species, effortlessly navigating social situations that would leave them exhausted. The mistake here is not the admiration, but the belief that introverts can't learn from or adopt some of these traits. The result is a self-imposed barrier that keeps introverts from developing their social skills and confidence. Instead, view extroverts as a source of inspiration, not comparison. Observe how they engage with others, what makes them interesting, or how they express their ideas freely. This provides practical strategies that can be adapted to fit an introvert's comfort level. A good strategy is mimicking the body language of extroverts. Simple changes, like maintaining eye contact or smiling more, can significantly impact how others perceive you and, in turn, how you feel about yourself. By borrowing strategies from extroverts, introverts can expand their social skills in an authentic and comfortable way. Number five, understand confidence is practice. Confidence isn't a switch you flip on, it's a muscle you build. 
Many introverts fall into the trap of believing that confidence is an innate trait. You either have it or you don't. This misconception leads to resignation, a feeling that they're forever doomed to the shadows of reticence. However, the static view of confidence overlooks the dynamic process of growth and learning. Instead, approach confidence as a skill that requires regular practice. Just like any skill, the more you practice, the better you become. This mindset shifts the focus from a fixed state of being to a continual process of improvement. Start by setting small, achievable challenges. Start with something as simple as voicing an opinion during a meeting or striking up a conversation with a stranger. Each success builds your confidence muscle a bit more. Embracing the idea that confidence grows with practice encourages us to step out of our comfort zones one small step at a time. This mindset turns every challenge into an opportunity to become a more confident version of ourselves. Number six, don't forget self-care. If you're running on empty, you can't drive forward. A common oversight among introverts aiming to boost their confidence is neglecting self-care. They push themselves into uncomfortable social situations without acknowledging their need to recharge. This approach can lead to burnout and reinforce negative feelings about social interactions, ultimately setting back their confidence. Instead, prioritize self-care as an essential component of your confidence-building strategy. Self-care practices vary from person to person, but focus on activities that replenish your energy and make you feel good about yourself. It ensures that you're not just surviving but thriving by maintaining a balance between social growth and personal well-being. An introvert who loves nature might find that regular hikes not only provide a peaceful retreat, but also enhance their mood and self-esteem, making social interactions less daunting. Incorporating self-care into your routine ensures that you're at your best, physically and emotionally, which is a crucial foundation for building confidence. Remember, taking care of yourself isn't selfish. It's essential for personal growth and confidence. Number seven, stop focusing on a specific outcome and have fun. Life isn't a scripted play, it's an improvisation. Many introverts approach social situations with a rigid expectation of how things should unfold, setting themselves up for disappointment and frustration when reality deviates from their script. This intense focus on specific outcomes can dampen spontaneity and enjoyment, hindering their ability to appear confident and relaxed. Embrace the unpredictable nature of social interactions. View them as opportunities for enjoyment and learning rather than tests of your social prowess. Shift your mindset from fearing failure to embracing the moment. Adopt a curiosity mindset. Enter conversations with the aim to learn something interesting about the other person rather than impressing them. This approach not only takes the pressure off, but also makes interactions more engaging and fun. Letting go of rigid expectations and focusing on the joy of the experience fosters a more relaxed and confident demeanor. This approach can transform how you view social situations, turning them from sources of anxiety into opportunities for fun and connection. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.